Hi, this is Tim from the Nintendo Blogger and I'm back with just my last bit of information about the uh, Nintendo Wii U from, uh, of course, E3 2012, which is ongoing this week. Now, Nintendo have um, said, first of all, that um, they don't want the Wii U to be confused with the Wii, hence it's not going to uh, be able to be stood up vertically and it'll only be able to... Uh, sit horizontally which is a little bit confusing to me because um, obviously the Wii could go either way and um, if you stand uh, and stand the Wii uh, horizontally like mine is then it looks pretty well fairly similar anyway so I'm not really sure what that's all about but anyway they basically want all the focus on the control pad itself for the Wii U obviously with all the features of that the built-in screen obviously having dual control dual screens uh, when working in tandem with a television. So anyway, I think that was the thinking behind that statement. So moving on from that, um, they have said um, there's been some more conflicting statements um, about the actual Wii U friend codes and whether they will actually be in place or not. It's looking like they've it, there's been a decision there probably won't be any friend codes, although it's not 100%, but it does look that way. And it's going to be apparently much easier to communicate, etc., on the Wii U once it's out. And obviously, we'll be aware of that system once it comes out. So that kind of clears that one up, although it's not, uh, like I said, 100%. Now, um, Nintendo apparently are considering pre-installed software for the Wii U. And uh, they're basically seriously considering this for certain Wii U markets. Um, I mean, I would be expecting things like Nintendo Land to be a bundled game anyway, whether it's actually installed in the console or a separate game, as long as it came with it, similar to Wii Sports that came with the Wii, it wouldn't be a problem. But um, apparently um, Nintendo were looking at basically um, possibly um, releasing a bare-bones console with no um, game games coming with it. Um, I mean, they may still do that, and then they may do a bundle with games coming with it, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, now, finally, um, the Wii U screen isn't going to be multi-touch due to uh, cost impl impl uh, implications in manufacture. Um, basically, Nintendo have said that they believe the uh, Nintendo DS screen, etc., was adequate enough for gamers, so they've got sort of similar feelings for the uh, Wii U gamepad controller, obviously because of the larger size and the more complex nature of it, obviously it was going to add a lot to the cost, so it looks like that isn't going to be multi-touch. So that's it, that's my roundup of the uh, Wii U news from, Nin well, from Nintendo at E3 2012. I'm going to bring you all the uh, game information for the Wii U, the launch games, etc. And also Nintendo Land tomorrow, and I'll also bring you up a roundup of all the Nintendo 3DS news. So this has been Tim at the Nintendo Blogger. Thanks for watching.